hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial will be on how to cut two-piece dress so the, this type of two-piece is on um, bubble top and palazzo so please kindly listen to my explanation on how to cut this i'm going to explain on how to, how to cut palazzo trouser because i'm going to be dropping video on how to cut a shirt dress which means I'm not going to explain how to cut palazzo again because I expect you to get this in this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, inbox me, try this out and send me videos. If it's okay or not, please follow us on IG at Ramat underscore posh underscore design. So for the two piece display on the screen, we need two and a half trouser length fabrics. There's no how you can manipulate it unless unless you want the top to be more fuller. So then you can use three trouser lengths. But for this, we are using two and a half trouser length fabrics. You can manage to use two trouser lengths for your two piece. Note that don't try to manipulate because it may affect your cutting. So now what we are going to remove first now is we are going to remove one and a half trouser length fabrics from this. So the remaining one out trouser length will be for our upper part. So stay tuned and watch the way I will do it. We are starting with cutting of our palazzo first. So the length of the palazzo I'm cutting is 43. So you are going to chalk out your 43. This is my 43. I'm going to add two inches for my sewing allowance for the down part. So making 47. 43 plus 2 making 45 so i'm going to add another two inches for the upper part because i'm going to use elastic for the band if i'm not using elastic for the band we, do, we don't need to add extra two inches so now I'm making four inches that i'm adding for the length so the length is 43 i add two inches for the sewing allowance for the down i add two inches for the upper upper part because i'm using elastic for it so now the the hip of our measurement is i'm using the side to cut please the sides matter when you are cutting the rough edge side is facing me we are not to use this we are using the side for the cutting so the hip of the measurement i'm using is 40. so 40 divided by 4 is going to give us 10. so we are going to chalk out 10 inches Remember, I've not had any sewing allowance with my measurements. I only divide my hip directly divided by four. So after dividing it by four, this is 10 inches. You're going to chalk out your 10 inches. After that, you're going to add two inches allowance for sewing. So I've already had my two inches allowance. So back to the down part of our trouser. So remember, we divided our hip divided by four, which is 10 inches. So we're going to chalk out the 10 inches downward and after that, we're going to chalk out four inches downward. The reason why we are chalking out four inches is because I'm adding elastic to the band. And even I'm adding zip, I'm going to use zip. My trouser will have an extra band, I'm to add two inches. But since I'm using um, elastic for the waist, I'm adding 10 inches downward. So I'm going to chalk it out. After chalking this out now, for the for the deepness of the trouser is two inches as you can see now so we are going to curve it out see the outcome after curving it out so from here to here is my 10 inches which is my hip that i divide after that i add four inches downward i've already told you the reason why i had my 10 inches downward if you didn't get it please back to the video so you can see the reason why i had my four inches downward so after this now we are done with the upper part so, how big do you want your palazzo? The palazzo wideness will de determine on how big you want it. So, for the palazzo, I'm, I'm going to use 11 inches for the wideness. You can decide not to use up to 11 inches. You can decide to use more than 11 inches. Depending on how big you want your palazzo to be on you. So, this is my 11 inches. I'm going to chalk out my 11 inches. 11 inches, then you are going to connect it together to the down part of the side look at the outcome of what i did as you can see this is the outcome 
then we can all cut this out. We are done with the cutting of our palazzo. This should be your outcome. As you can see, this should be your outcome. Kindly practice this and send to me. I'm going to correct it. If there's any mistake, try and practice on this. As you can see, this is the outcome. So we are going to cut out our bubble top for this beautiful palazzo. So after folding your fabrics into four, remember we are using one and a half trouser length for the upper part as well. So now, as you can see what I'm holding, look at the way I fold it. I fold the fabrics into two, as you can see. After folding it, I will fold it this way. In such a way that I won't have to join the shoulder again. As you can see, so this will be my down part and this will be my upper part. So this is my down part, this is my upper part. I don't want any joining on my shoulder. So that's why I decided to use this space for the upper part. The next thing to do now is to cut out the neck. As usual, you have to use three inches for the wideness of your neck. Unless you want it extra wide. Three inches is a normal measurement for neck measurement. So I'm going to use, I'm using this length for the length of the top. This is 31, which is absolutely, absolutely okay by me. So if you want your own to be more than this, that means you're adding extra fabrics to your work. So I'm going to chalk out three inches for the neck. This is my three inches. And for the deepness, I'll use three and a half inches for the deepness. So I'm going to chalk this out. So after chalking this out, as you, as you can see, it's three by three and a half inches. That is for my neck. If you want your neck to be more white, white and deeper than this, you can decide to increase your measurement. So for my ammo, I'm using seven inches for my ammo, as you can see. So. I'm only going to chop this out. I didn't shape anything in this dress. I removed my hand, my ammo, and this is my length because I want it to fall. You are going to see the display picture after the sewing. You are going to see the way I rock it. I'm sure you will love it. So try and work something of this out. I'm going to cut out this now so you can see the outcome. This is the outcome of our bubble. See, it's so nice and beautiful. The neck is not so wide and it's not too deep. By the time we sew it, the neck is going to become more deep. So you have to be careful when you are cutting your neck. So this is the hand side. Remember we took seven inches for the hampo from year to year, which will be where you are going to put your ends. So now this is the outcome of the beautiful two piece watch out for the sewing of this dress don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and follow us on ig ramat underscore posh underscore design and don't forget to follow us on facebook ramat Hadebayo. thank you have a nice day